Hi everyone, welcome to Lecture Maker training module. In this module, you will learn how to create navigation button. Well, in this example, you know, we have created three pages or three slides. So first slide is introduction, second slide is history, and the last is the summary. Now, if you love, if we run this program, we have. Hi, oh. Hi everyone, welcome to Lecture Maker Training Module. In this module, you will learn how to create navigation pattern in your learning program. Here you go. We have three pages, page one, page two, and page three. When we are trying to run this program, one of the biggest challenge now, we cannot navigate to the next page, okay? So now we're going to learn how to create the navigation button by using the existing um, navigation button provided by Lecture Maker. So select navigation button. Here, you just need to, you, what we need to do is to select what type of button that you would like to have. Maybe I would like to have a previous button and then maybe another one is the next button. And then the next thing is to do is to choose the design that we would like to have. Or you can also import any design that you would like to have for or the navigation button. So for example, in this case, I would like to have the green, the orange button as the navigation button. So immediately you will find that uh, the, 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 the buttons will be already available on the screen. The next thing you need to do is to click on the click on this checkbox to apply to all the slides as well as all the new slides which you're going to design and you're going to add later. So upon clicking on this button, here you go, you'll find each of the page will already have the buttons. So let's now try, try to run. Click. And you just click on the next button, you go to the next page, you go to the next button, you can continue for another page. Similarly, you can go on to the previous page again. So, and you notice that there's no programming or no scripting required because all have been pre-programmed for you. So that's all about creating navigation button. Thank you. Hi everyone. Welcome to Lecture Maker training module. In this module, you will learn how to create manual button. So, like for example, in this case, if I would like to have a manual button on this side, on the left hand side of the screen, so what I need to do is I just need to go to select the manual button. So, and put drag where I would like to have it. So, for example, I would like to have it this corner you notice that immediately the topic title, the top, the, the page title already appeared immediately from on this particular part. Okay, so, and now let's try it out and see what happened. For example, now, uh, the first one is introductions. I mean, introductions. If I want to do the second, I can just uh, click on the history. Here you go, I go to history. Unfortunately, the manual button is not appear on second page because it's only I have just inserted in the first page. So in this case, if you understand the concept of ma master, then it may be good to in where you can insert this particular uh, object in the master. So what I can do is I just do a cut and paste. So I cut away this object and I go to the master. I can just apply to the body master. So in this case, now I can use, I can have all this, this navigation button or this menu button in every slide. Okay, so that's one of the one of the benefit of having having the menu button, so you can easily navigate create navigations and let's look at the property of this object sorry let's look at the property of the um, manual button 
Okay, so here it goes. You can still change the title if you don't like the title. You want to have a different title, on the, um, also can. And we like we also can have on different type of menu. For example, you can have combo box or just an ordinary buttons. For example, you want to have carbon box, com uh, combo box. So select combo box and then click OK. Now let's run the program and see what happened. Now it's, it's a drop down combo box. So you can just drop down and just select. And you will go to the page 2. If you select this summary, you will go to the page 3 and so on. So that's all about uh, menu button. Thank you very much.